Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, I want everybody to know that there's only one show today and I don't really have a VAX update. So if you're somebody who only watches these for the VAX update, all I can tell you is we're preparing for September 22nd at one o'clock in federal court for the first hearing that we'll have on one of our lawsuits and our injunctions. So that's all I've got. We're working really hard on that. Uh, Joe Biden announced that, he's apparently telling the governors, that the federal debt situation might trigger a recession. Wait a minute. Oh, just like a few weeks ago, he was saying that, oh, this federal debt doesn't mean anything. And they want to add three and a half trillion? I mean, this is a runaway train. Runaway train. Uh, justice for uh, J6 rally, there was only like 400 people showed up. There were more media than people who showed up for that thing. <laughs> they got all worked up about it. 56% of Americans think the country is going in the wrong direction under Joe Biden. The tragedy of that is there is 44% of the people in this country that disagree with that. That's how, that's how we're on the edge. That's how close we are to the edge. The Del Rio illegals, apparently, you know, they just keep gathering at the bridge. Joe Biden doesn't want drones down there. He's ready to take all those people and spread them out through the United States. Isn't it amazing? We have that happening, but you don't need an ID to vote. Here's how bad it is for Joe Biden. Chuck Todd at CNN says there's a question of whether or not and the world's questioning whether or not Joe Biden's competent. By the way, this has nothing to do with competency. This has to do with intentional destruction of this country. Taxes. There was a report that taxes, Americans paying taxes in 2020, more in taxes than they did. Healthcare, food, clothing, and entertainment combined. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Thank goodness Senator Manchin from West Virginia is apparently not very happy and is ready to blow up the whole 3.5 trillion infrastructure package. We can only hope. Citizenship, they, they think about this, this 3.5 trillion dollar deal. They want to give 8 million green cards and give basically begin citizenship for all these illegals. The parliamentarian of the United States Senate, who's apparently nonpartisan, said, nope, the rules do not allow this. Stopped by a parliamentarian. <laughs> Only in America. Uh, meanwhile, over the weekend, while the world just caving everywhere, North Korea is uh, caving everywhere. North Korea is setting off nuclear weapons. Our border's a disaster. Joe Biden takes a little bike ride. <laughs> I hope he had guides and interpreters and everything else. You know he'd get lost. School worker shortage, amongst all the other shortages, apparently... There's even school worker shortages. Somebody even said, National Guard, National Guard. Are we going to use the National Guard for everything? The National Guard at St. E's, that's hilarious. Completely unnecessary. $26 is what the progressives want the minimum wage. Remember, they said, oh, 15, 15, 15. Now, no, 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 no. We need it to be $26. <laughs> Last but not least on the national scene, Americans think inflation is more of a concern than COVID. No kidding. And once again this weekend, crowds everywhere in NFL stadiums, college stadiums, but your little kid has to wear a mask. I also want to go off and, uh, and talk about a couple things. Somebody sent to me this at Twin Awful. This is just too hysterical not to use. Um, apparently at Twin Awful, <laughs> this is great, you mentioned Twin Hoffel on your show the other night. Can we visit the fact that there is a guy at Simon Kenton who has a full beard, dresses like a man, and identifies as Sasha and is using the girls' restrooms? Parents have called the schools. We'll put up a picture of Sasha. Pretty interesting, isn't it? And by the way, along these lines, isn't it amazing how we were all told we had to be sensitive to all those people that walk to a different beat of a different drum. But 
Those of us who don't want to get vaccinated, by golly, we deserve scorn. <laughs> Their hypocrisy is endless. Endless. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope you have a great day.